Okay, so in the last video, we log into a system that we've installed the GUI on, and we installed the, the Hyper-V management tools, uh, remote management tools on the system. Um, but now we need to get Hyper-V, the Hyper-V role on the remote system. And there's a couple ways we can do that. We can do it from uh, this remote system. Uh, what we want to do is add a server here. And we added it on the domain, so we can just go ahead and find the server from the domain here. Um, or you can put the name in and search for it that way as well. So we're going to go ahead and select this system. Uh, this system doesn't have the Hyper-V role on it, and it's in, uh, it has the server core installed. So from here, I can click on it and go right click and add roles and features. And this will pop up the, the wizard here. We can see for a destination server, this is the server that we wanted. Uh, just make sure you pay attention to that. Make sure you're installing the role on the correct server. And we'll click through the wizard here, taking the defaults. And we'll come to the roles area here. And we can see Hyper-V. The Hyper-V role will uh, want to also install um, some other things under the management tools and we can see the PowerShell uh, command lines here for Hyper-V will also get installed on this uh, remote system. Um, if you're doing this wizard on the actual system that you're, in, you, you're uh, going to manage with, uh, you, you may also have the uh, management tools uh, get installed or get selected here as as a tool to get included. Um, so this is one way we can run through it, but I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this. Uh, basically, we just do add features here and then next, next through the wizard. But let's go ahead and show how we can do this from the, um, the server core as well. If I switch over to that system, I'm logged into the system here. And when you first log in, you're going to get the command prompt here as we've seen before. We want to go ahead and switch over and use PowerShell. And in PowerShell we'll do get Windows. I have my keyboard works here. We want to get Windows features. Uh, basically Windows feature. Okay and the feature we want to look for, or the role, actually is, is Hyper-V. So we're going to do Hyper-V and put a star here, a wildcard, so that they'll bring back everything um, with Hyper the Hyper-V name in it. Um, so we can look here and see that there are no, um, no Hyper-V uh, roles or features installed. So we want to install install windows feature now and the windows feature we want to install of course is hyper-v um, and if you look here at the name the name is, is actually what you will type um, as you put in install windows feature uh, and you can see that over here on the right side so I'm going to go ahead and click enter. So you can see the this is doing the install now. Um, and there's also it comes back where it wants wants you to do a restart. What I want to do is go ahead and check this again. Um, we can see that the the uh, Hyper-V has been installed, and all we have to do now is, is really reboot. But I want to install the PowerShell command lines as well. So I'm going to go ahead here and type in PowerShell. So the Hyper-V PowerShell. And I'm going to install this before I do the reboot. Okay, now that that's installed, we'll go ahead and type in restart server. And we'll restart this server here. Okay, so that, that machine is now uh, back up. So if we switch back over to the, 
the system that we had here with the, the GUI and the server management here, um, we can go ahead and right click on it and we can verify that the, the Hyper-V role is installed from the GUI as well. Just go in here real quick. Um, and we can see that the Hyper-V role is installed now. And if we want to check the features, we can also go under the Remote Server Administration Tools, Role Administration Tools. And we can see that we have the PowerShell uh, module here. We'll cancel out of there. And now all we need to do is go to the Hyper-V Manager and connect back to this remote system. So we can go in here, connect the server, type in the server name, and we're, we have our first um, Hyper-V host set up and configured, and we can manage it here through, through the Hyper-V Manager. Now there's some settings here that you may want to set in your environment. I'm not going to go into that in this, this uh, video, but take a look in the, the settings um, that, that you can configure for this host and I'll probably uh, go over some of this stuff in another video.